This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in. I am Simdarin. Welcome back to my channel and another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we're in Windenburg, probably my favorite world. I build here a lot. I mean, look at it, come on. I mean, tell me there's a prettier world. I dare you. Tell me in the comments down below which world do you think is the prettiest in The Sims 4? I'm curious. But anyway, we are working on just a little um, cottage on the beach. That, that was pretty much the inspiration, a beach cottage, because summer. Summer is here, coming, I soon, you know? <laughs> It feels like summer is here some days, at least where I live, and then other days I'm like, is it winter? Like, what, what is going on? I hate this time of year. Um, I just like when the weather just starts. I like, I like feeling the sun, you know? And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, your girl's busy, and your girl has a vacation coming up in June, and... She is so excited for it where she doesn't have to work because I, let me tell you every week from at least the time of me recording this video to the time I start my vacation is completely booked. Like, ugh, I'm tired thinking about it, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to build in The Sims and to relax and forget about that stuff. So uh, the shape of this build is pretty much the sit. <laughs> this is pretty much it. I really wanted to do something small and beachy and kind of coastal. So I really had fun with this. We lean into a few different packs for here. Uh, cats and dogs really stands out here. Some cottage living. I've got that cottage living fence around the porches uh, for rent. This, is, this staircase, I believe, is from the castle kit. If I'm not mistaken it's it's been a little bit since i actually worked on this build so hang hang with me here um what what packs did i say so far cottage living cats and dogs horse ranch castle estate uh, i think those windows are from growing together uh so a ton of packs really worked together to make this build come to life and Honestly, this is all I want. <laughs> I just want a little cozy cottage in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by nature and quiet. Just quiet. <laughs> but enough about that. I, I promise this time. I swear. Uh, here we're doing the landscaping. Yay! I absolutely love landscaping. It's probably one of my favorite things to do in The Sims 4. Uh, I used to like... Feel like I sucked at it and I mean I'm not that I'm not the greatest at landscaping but I'm definitely more comfortable than I was like two one even one year ago one year two years three years so but it's something I have grown to love and it's so fun seeing what kind of different combinations you can do with the bushes and from either the main catalog menu or even the, uh, I don't know why I kept those windows, I didn't keep those windows there. That would have been cute. Anyway, <laughs> landscaping. What kind of combinations you can make with the, what, what's in our catalog and what's in the debug and show live edit catalog. Uh, I, I utilize debug landscaping a lot because they're just better textures. They're so much better, honestly. Some of the, like... There's stuff in the catalog that have a debug counterpart, and it's like, why does the one in the catalog even exist? Because the other one is so much better. And look at that, we're already into the interior. I think I go back outside later to finish up the landscaping, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or I might have done that off camera, I don't know. But here we are inside. So this is a very small home. I don't think it's classified as a tiny home if it is it's like it's definitely like at the max tiny that you can be really 
but it's it's cute it's quaint and now i'm trying to figure out which counters and cabinets i want to use i think i end up with these it's either i end up with these or some base game ones because i pulled this one out but i might be mixing and matching which is something that i've actually loved to do recently is kind of see what different counters and cabinets can kind of go together and kind of mix and match there's a reason for that reason being it's so easy to match the cabinets to the counters especially if there's a pack that like they have both not all packs have both though um, but also i think that makes for like very similar looking kitchens sometimes and while that's not a bad idea and it's not a bad thing at all, but it's just something I'm trying to work on is making things look a little different. I feel like especially the exterior of my houses or the shells, like the shape of these builds, sometimes I look at a build and I'm like, it just looks like every other build I've ever done in my life, <laughs> honestly. And sometimes you just need to shake it up. Uh, that's just a me problem though, but what about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little out of practice with these voiceovers, so we're getting back into it. Um, now I'm just pulling out some clutter. I did pull out that the, um, I can't even speak, see? That turntable music thingy, a vinyl record player. I, I never know what to call it because I feel like it's got a million different names, but that one is from the Party Essentials kit, which, I mean, there are a few items in there that I'm going to use often not many but that one is definitely my favorite item from that kit and i will use it everywhere and you can't stop me because you you just can't i'm gonna do it i don't care <laughs> i really don't care unless unless i'm doing a limited pack build then of course of course i won't use it like i actually almost forgot i started working on a base game only build and yeah, I actually got to go in there and finish that one, so stay tuned. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're really working on some smaller builds and some limited pack builds. Only because, like I said, I'm busy. And if it means simplifying some things, it we gonna do it. I really loved putting this shelf over this door and cluttering it up. Um, it's I think I've done something similar before with putting shelving up above the back door leading out to the yard and I there's just something so simple and realistic about it you know I even put curtains because this is a glass door and maybe it's like cold or it's like too sunny and or I don't know or you want some privacy because you need that uh so there's that anyway here we are working on the little tiny squishy living room it is so squishy but I feel like it came out so cute. Uh, I actually pull out another thing from the Party Essentials kit. I, I'm also in love with these string lights recently. I don't know. I can't stop using them. But I am going to pull out that fake tiley looking wall decor from the Party Essentials kit and put it behind the fireplace because I was like trying to figure out should I put stone should I put brick but I didn't want it to be like a painted wall back there because it's a fireplace you know I mean it could work but I I didn't want it to so I'm gonna actually pull that out and I thought it gave the space just enough like interest you know to make everything else kind of pull together so I think you're actually gonna see that pretty soon I'm also looking for this uh, everyday clutter kit item with the keys. I like merging it into things so that it's not just a mail holder, but like now it's like it's a mirror with hooks on it. Like how cute. That's like, it feels very DIY to me. And I've been getting served a lot of DIY like videos, shorts, reels, what you name it. Um, and drifting also like it's making me want to go drift shopping because <laughs> I'm like wow you guys get such cute unique stuff but uh, I don't know where to start sometimes I, I guess I should just start I, should, I really should just start but 
whatever. That's just what's going on in my life. What's going on in yours? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, maybe at this point we have some new announcements from the Sims 4 team. When I last did a voiceover, which was literally maybe an hour ago, if we're talking real time, but if we're talking your time, it's been some weeks. Uh, but there was a leak for two kits about a poolside-ish kit and something that looks like a cafe or bistro kit. So, who knows? Is that real? Is it real? I don't know. It's not confirmed as of right now. And maybe we even got some more stuff because maybe we got a roadmap by the time you've seen this video. I'm planning on putting this up in a couple weeks, so I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> I'm back down to one video a week, unfortunately. But um, let me stop talking about that. Anyway, we are picking out a rug and a coffee table. And I can't believe I haven't pulled out that wall piece yet. But um, I think I do it on camera. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, you'll s Hopefully you'll see that soon. Uh, here I'm revisiting it. I'm like, what to put here? Here it is. And I do it in the blue swatch, actually. Although I play with all these other colors, but this blue swatch actually fits very well. And I'm using the tool mod to duplicate it so it can go up to like the white molding. So it really looks like it blends into the place. And eh, it was pretty cute. And just a little bookshelf in this corner because I don't use this one enough. Uh, it's kind of like very school and very library, but I also feel like that's a pretty good size. We don't have too many like one tile bookcases. I feel like we've gotten more, especially now with like the book nook kit. That does really help. But I don't know. I kind of liked how this one fit and I like the curved feature as well. Here we are on the second story of this little cute build. Uh, here we have our bedroom. This is where your sim is going to sleep. Uh, you can have up to two sims and a baby and maybe an infant, but that's pretty much about it. There is, I would say there's room to expand, uh, but I say infant or baby because I actually do put a little bassinet up here. I don't know. I, I was, I finished off this bedroom and then I had a corner, uh, by like where the ladder is. And I was like, what to put here? I didn't want to do like an art easel because honestly, I put it over here for some reason. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. So, but I was like, oh, you know what would be cute if like, maybe this is like a single mother sim or single father sim or just single sim in, in general. And maybe they have a little baby. I think it'd be cute. And like they're living their little quiet, quaint life here on the coast and I don't know that sounds like such a sweet like little gameplay very wholesome kind of storyline to play with but you know that's that's just me I really love how the greens and pinks pop on this little uh cottage living bed wait is it cottage living I think I'm pretty sure that's cottage living but also part of me wants to say high school years for some reason so um Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is cottage living. <laughs> and we're just going to pick up some wall decor. So I think we're just going to keep that. I love using these um, framed photos from the book nook kit. Those are some of my favorite. I use it a lot. I also really love this lamp that I just placed down. This lamp is from the For Rent kit. And I don't know. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> Um, how many times can I say cute in this video? Um, if anyone wants to count them and let me know in the comments down below, that would be a fun game, right? That'd be fun. A little interactive. <laughs> anyway, here's the easel. Uh, just because I felt like I needed to put something there. Which means I don't think your sim can get to the bed on that side. Probably not anyway because of the wall. Now that I'm thinking about it, but... If your game is like mine, you might be able to have your sims scooch over. So that's also a thing. And now I'm just playing around with the wallpaper because I was like, do I want to do something different and add some more texture? Uh, I honestly can't remember what I end up doing. I, it might just be this, honestly. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, over on this side of the room, we are going to put a little office space. Just a little desk, nothing too fancy. Some desk, some clutter. I mean, I think having a desk and a computer, especially in gameplay, is very important. There's a lot of stuff you need to do on a computer or can do. So I, I try to add one, at least a desk in general, like especially in like a starter home or something. I think it's important so that you have a place for eventually a laptop or a computer. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, here is these flower lights again. So, so cute. There's another cute for you and another. Um, but I don't know. Uh, when I put this little bookcase thing on the wall from, I think that's from the infant update we got like, gosh, a year plus ago. <laughs> It feels like yesterday, doesn't it, that we got infants? It really does, but it was some time. Uh, but that's what solidified the idea of putting an infant in here and, or baby. And I don't know, it'd be, I think it'd be cute to play with. Uh, I am itching for some gameplay. I, I, I think about it sometimes. I just, at this time, I wish I had more time. And you know, I'm talking about my vacation. Uh, I would have time, but I'm actually going somewhere. Like we have like this little family reunion. It's gonna be fun. So I won't have my computer. So no sins for me. Oh, that's gonna be so sad. I'm gonna miss the game so much. Anyway, here's the corner. Here's the bassinet. This one is from Growing Together. It's so cute. And honestly, that green just really matches the color scheme in the build. So it really worked out. And then I do put another chair up here. I put that little chamber pot for potty. I think about the changing table doesn't really fit. So we just put some wall decor up here, which I think turned out pretty cute. And like I said, a chair um, just for seating. And then we're gonna finish up the landscaping because I honestly don't remember why I stopped and then went back to it. I feel like I've been doing that recently. Hmm. I don't know. Does your building like process change very often when you guys are building or do you pretty much stick to the same thing like exterior, then interior, or do you have like, do you do interior, then exterior? Like, tell me what your process is. I'm also curious. I feel like I'm asking a lot of you guys in the comments section today. Feel free. You don't have to answer them. You really don't. You can just say hi. I would like you to say hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we are finishing up the landscaping. We got some rocks and we're adding some bushes and we have these fun debug grass pieces, which gives this like a very overgrown look that I personally absolutely love. And then we're picking out these bushes, except I think I switch out these for that one over there, which has little flowers in them. And I think that's from the get together debug menu if I'm not mistaken uh, which makes sense because we are in that world still my favorite world look at that we just came full circle guys the very first question I asked you in today's build is what is the prettiest world in The Sims 4 obviously I love Windenburg it's one of my favorites <laughs> it probably is actually my favorite like hands down <laughs> I love it here. Anyway, tell me which one is yours and I don't know, for funsies, which one do you like the least? Um, I guess recently for me, San Maishuno. I, I just don't go there to build much, even though I keep trying to do apartments, but it's not working out for me recently. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the build, I guess. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna wrap it up. We do have a video tour at the very end, like always. We also have screenshots in the end card if you guys want like a closer look. But you can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to see even more close-ups. Uh, I'm trying to be a little more active there. It's been a little rough recently. I talked about it in a previous video, so I'm not gonna like keep hitting the nail over there. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, I hope I get to see you guys in the next one and catch up pretty soon. And I hope you enjoyed the build. Oh, this is also up on the gallery. 
I'm like 99% sure. So make sure you go check that out if you would like. And if it's not there, please come back and yell at me. I would really appreciate it because I will get it up there as soon as I can. Okay, bye!